Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are finally at the pool and we're going to be testing out the IP68 certification for the Galaxy Note 10 and the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. This is TK. Well, my son's is right there. He's ready to go with me to test out the phone. So let's not waste any time. Let's check it out. Now the first thing we need to make sure obviously before we get into the pool, make sure your device is perfectly uh, intact. There's no structural damage, it's never dropped on the ground, there's no cracks, there's nothing going on. Because any of those things will damage and will actually make the device vulnerable to water or at least damage the water ceiling. So keep that in mind. Second, the IP68 certification says that this phone should be able to last in the water up to one meter in 30 minutes. I am taking it into the pool, I am not taking it diving, I am just basically you know, casually in and out of the pool, taking pictures and videos of my son and enjoying it in the water. So again, keep in mind, up to 30 minutes in one well one meter of water, uh, fresh water, not salt water. So that's the other thing. This is pool water, so there's no salt. So I went ahead and switched over to the Mate 20 Pro, mostly because I want to show you guys that obviously I'm holding the phone. In many of my videos in the past, a lot of you guys have always said, how come he never shows the phone in the video? Well, here's the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Again, Note 10, uh, exactly the same. We have the S Pen. Now, the entire phone is an IP6, has an IP68 certification, and essentially what that means, again, up to one meter in fresh water. phone in and here we are now keep in mind a couple of things will happen when you're in the water some false touches will start happening as well as the fact that um, you won't be able to actually use the display you can actually use the S Pen in the water to unlock and do things so one thing would be here let's go ahead and bring it down Here you go. The S Pen is fully functional. Keep in mind that once you have it in the pool, the first thing that's going to happen obviously is that there's going to be a water seal here. So you need to wait for it to dry out and give it enough time after you're out of the pool. And of course you have the ability of just kind of blowing out any kind of water that you have in any of the openings that you have at the top or at the bottoms where the microphones and of course where the USB-C is because obviously that's where there's going to be some water. Let's get in the pool and take some videos and pictures and show you what this phone can do in the water. things obviously you need to keep in mind is that water obviously is going to be everywhere uh, you're not going to be able to charge your phone so make sure your device is charged up before getting into this and obviously you need to give it some time um, the other thing is depending on how the audio is right now I'm trying to see how the water is basically uh, affecting the audio obviously there'll be some muffling but hopefully not too much uh, and as you can see uh, there's going to be obviously uh, just a little bit of halo in here I think there's a little bit of water on the front facing camera
As you saw, the video obviously and obviously slow motion, taking pictures, doing everything you want to do underwater is going to work. If you want to take pictures, make sure you use the volume rocker on the actual camera because that's about the only way to take pictures. Uh, because actually the uh, screen becomes almost non-responsive unless you're using the S Pen and then you have ah, and then you have water being splashed at you. Uh, the S Pen will work with your display, just keep that in mind. And again, as long as your device is clean and has not been damaged, meaning you haven't dropped it, you haven't had any issues with it, uh, the water seal should be there and it should actually work again with the IP68. And as you can see, it actually works pretty well. Keep in mind up to one, one meter of water for 30 minutes is the maximum we're supposed to uh, have. Um, and hopefully you guys, as you guys can see, it definitely works. Uh, Omar, you wanna say anything? Are you good? Yeah. This was fun? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna do the dunk as we usually do with all of our videos before he actually slams it in. Are you ready to go? Yeah. So he did it. One. Yeah. You gotta get the clip right. Two, three.